Hey guys, Valjif welcome back to another video. Today, we are going to expose a music video. We are back to our old routine where we dissect music videos. Now, you guys know about Faruko. Faruko is a very famous musician in Latin America. He's a Latino. He's from Puerto Rico, but he was born in Cuba. He was raised in Cuba. So, as you guys know, most of these musicians sell their souls in order to become famous, rich, and successful. I won't say too much, but according to Faruko, he probably went down that pipeline and he realized himself because he came out later saying that he's a Christian and how he would stop singing satanic music. He said he said he would stop singing the devil's music. And Faruko has a gospel album. He has a full-time gospel album and in his tracks he blends a lot with christian beliefs and all these things that were written in the bible but i'm here just to expose this song personally i don't see any difference in his lifestyle because he said he's a christian but he's still worldly he's still a worldly christian doing satanic music videos and just blending god you know i don't know what he's doing exactly but let me just expose this music video and tell me your take down on this video before getting to that please hit the like button new subscribe and let's jump into it real quick so the title of this video is called nazareto definitely depicting jesus christ of nazareth and you know latinos they call it nazareto for some reason anyways the video is supposed to be somehow christian according to what i was expecting but it's completely satanic and it's just about this guy being in the club bragging drinking around girls just enjoying himself and girls are shaking their ass and bouncing like strippers and i thought this was supposed to be a christian video about jesus christ but it's more of like uh, in fact i don't understand because it's in a club and it's in a dark area but i won't say too much i won't judge early let's just let's go straight into it so in the video we find him chilling around in a club with friends dancing singing and just and join himself like he would do in real life then things start becoming to be satanic as we see some ladies with satan's eye you know like they're possessed something of that of that sort and we also see satanic tattoos now when i saw this i knew exactly that this video was going to be dark very dark yeah and it became darker as time goes on we start seeing two ladies making out dancing behind cages like yeah in some kind of like mind control bed cage mk ultra programming but what's really surprising in this thing because we have a cross behind there, we have a cross on the background and we got Faruko singing behind the cross. But what is crazy about this video is that each time Faruko is seen around the cross, we have the one eye symbols and check this out. I don't know if I'm the only person seeing this but it's very shady because I thought it was supposed to be Christian and this was supposed to be some kind of like revelation but it's not revelation, this is satanic music. We keep seeing the one eye symbolism around the cross. And that's not all, that's just the beginning of the whole satanic mess. Now, as we keep going deeper in the video, it becomes more and more darker. And I've realized one thing, there is there's a use of two symbolism, the black and white symbolism. Somehow, Faruko is the only person in this video wearing white. And the rest of the people are wearing black, black, black in the club. They're all wearing black. I don't know if he's the only person that saved or if he's the only Christian among these people, but there's a reason why he's doing that because the rest of the people are all wearing black and he's only wearing white. Now things become a little bit more interesting as we see in quotes a white figure appearing in the club and it's supposed to be Jesus according to the movie, according to the video. It's supposed to be Jesus Christ appearing to Faruko in the club. And when Jesus appears to Faruko, something happens. It's kind of like he's spiritually enlightened because all of a sudden everything stops and we start having the, the true revelation of what was happening on the dark side so as jesus in quotes spoke with faruko he became woke and all of a sudden because he's living in the light of in quote jesus he realized that he's in a blood ritual and there's something much darker sinister happening in the scene after we saw the blood spilling out he realized that those ladies around him those girls were all demons and they became vampires we could see how they were piercing people they were biting people and he even got beaten by the vampires which is <laughs> which is crazy and we could see how he became a prey for all those people personally my translation of this is that 
Faruku is in a club and he's innocent, right? Because he's wearing white. And these people around the industry, all these sellouts, they are all working with the devil. And he doesn't even know that because he's in the music industry, he's been prone to be around these people. Now, the bite, right? From the bite, it reveals that he sold his soul to the devil in the industry to become famous. And that was why he was hooving around those people and they were trying to pray over him also pray over his soul so faruko was sitting in that place around money and fame cars girls women and everything that money could buy but he had no idea that on the dark side these things were not right in the eyes of the most High, according to this video now according to the video it was a revelation it was a trance let's say a vision that he had within a short period of time so when he came back from that vision he was like no 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 he has to leave these things immediately and that's what he did so he left the club got his friends and left out of the club and when he went out of the club we could see a lightning bolt the bible says that and i saw satan fall from heaven like lightning it doesn't end there we saw how faruko just went beside and he saw some kind of like description about jesus christ and he before closing the video he gave a quote from the bible titus 2 verse 11 and 12 which states for the grace of God has appeared bringing salvation to all people, training them to denounce, to renounce ungodliness and worldly passions, and to live self-control, upright and godly in this present age. It's a very powerful scripture in the Bible teaching us about holiness, about righteousness and not being worldly. So Farouk got a very good Bible passage, but is Farouk living holy that I don't know on his personal life? But I just saw a video he released some days ago with Black Eyed Peas and I guess Shakira. I don't know why, but he's part of that video too. So I still believe that Faruko sings worldly music. And I went to the translation of that video, of that music video, to get some insight on what he was saying. And I got this one. He said, Suddenly a voice said to me, You will find my son. What are you celebrating? that i see the whole world year on high but inside i know that you're crying pharaoh you wanted money and fame you wanted money and fame well here is it these people are only when it suits them the partner the women turn when it's over money comes and goes but time no one knows so personally i don't know much about faruko but according to this video he got some christian lyrics it's like He's trying to like leave the world and come back to Christ, come back to God, which is cool. But his, his lifestyle, his music, his new upcoming, because he said he was going to be retiring, I, think, I, I guess some months ago, but he's still singing music. So I don't know what's happened with Faruku personally, but I understand one thing. We have to pray for him. Also, I saw a video by another truther called The Truth Is. He made a video about Faruku saying that Faruku claimed he sold his soul and got it back i don't know if that is true or not but it's something we have to look into but most importantly we have to pray for faruko for his salvation because he's kind of like in the twilight zone more of like he's in a get out trap and he's trying to get out as much as possible but this video with all these girls naked dancing <laughs> man that's that's way too much anyways what do you think about it what are your thoughts on this video leave it down in the comment section leave your suggestion here like button if you're new subscribe and see you guys in the next video god bless you bye